welcome back to my freak show. I am Mary Girl Moody and today we're going to talk about AHS Delicate Episode 5 Preacher. Now this episode opens in Manhattan in 1987. Dr. Hill and of course the antler chicks in black are back and they're helping Miss Preacher give birth as per their agreement. And he says it's going to be a long night but the baby is suddenly born. Now it's the Hamptons 2023. Dex and Virginia are walking on the beach and she keeps asking him to testify for her, but he says he didn't see anything. She says that she just wants him to testify as a character witness only. He refuses and she says that he will regret not believing in her. Bitch! Oh guys, oh, this is awesome. Siobhan is now representing Babette. Anna's rival and her best actress, you know, category nomination and in life. Oh my God, that was awesome to see that opening scene and Babette's like, ooh, she takes the, one of the pastries out. She's like, may I? Licks it and she's like, oh, I better not <laughs> and puts it back. Wow. That was true petty behavior that I approve of. I hate Babette as a, a character, but the scene was really great. Taylor Richardson is such a fantastic actress. And I love how AHS writes good characters to hate. And man, I hate this bitch. I hope Babette's future comes to an end way before the season finishes. I cannot wait to see this bitch die. Anna confronts Siobhan over this. And Siobhan is so nonchalant about it that it's actually funny. She says that she doesn't have a non-compete clause. This is business and it's a boundary that Anna does not want to cross. Okay. Kim really seems to have that bitch down. Now, before Anna leaves Siobhan, she gives her more B12 vials. And that red dot on Anna's face is looking more like a bullseye at this point. After leaving her attorney's office, Virginia has a vision of the four antler chicks in black watching her in the alley. Miss Preacher approaches her and she tells her that she needs to talk to her. And she explains to Virginia in a restaurant that when Miss Preacher was 25 years old, she was a budding fashion designer. She had a one night stand with a guy and got pregnant. And when she went to have the big A, and no, I don't mean Hester Prim, a woman approached her and offered Miss Preacher help. She said if Miss Preacher gave her the baby, that she would give her the world. So she gave the woman the baby after she gave birth to it. Miss Preacher says that Virginia's husband has nothing to do with all of this, but Dex and Anna do. She's worried about them. She says that Dex was part of like this satanic cult at one time but he gave it up for Addie. She says that this satanic cult has been after their family for a long time. Now we never get any more of this scene or anything else that what happens, but it certainly gives us a lot of information and I'm so ready to do a theory video about it, guys. Back at home, Dr. Hill is examining Anna because she's been in intense pain. To Dex's credit, he actually does care that Anna's in pain and he asks the doctor to examine her more thoroughly when he kind of brushes her off. He does say that Anna cannot travel for the rest of her pregnancy, meaning that she has to miss the Golden Globes. Anna asks Dex to invite Sonia over for some girl time. While in the shower, more of Anna's hair comes out. And after she gets out of the shower, she finds another summer day doll left out for her and her bedroom. This one has red roots at the top, indicating bloody roots from Anna's hair falling out. Sonia comes over for dinner at the Alcott house. Straight out, Nicolette does not like Sonia. She gave her the old up and down look and then a disgusted face. Loved it. And while they talk at dinner, Sonia says that Dex told her about Anna Stalker. And Anna confesses that she thought Sonia was the one following her because the stalker wore the same green heels as Sonia did at the art opening. Sonia says that she never wears green, even on her feet. I have to say, guys, real quickly, that I went back and I checked because you know me. You know me! I always go back and check. Sonia had the same heels as she did at the art gallery that was the same woman that was under the stall when Anna went out to dinner with her and Dex. Same foot, same everything. Sonia conti continues to talk and she tells... Anna and Dex that her mother used to physically abuse her. So she left home at 17. And she was talking about how she's grateful for the pain because it got her where she is today. And she says specifically that it got her to the table sitting with Anna. Anna walks Sonia out to her car and asks her if she's seen the picture of Dex and his wife before and shows it to her. Sonia says no, she's never seen the picture, but she does confirm that she looks exactly like Addie. She tells Anna that, you know, call her if she needs anything. She's only 15 minutes away. Woo! 
I don't know if I'd like that, guys. That bitch is too close for my comfort. Now, Nicolette is looking in the drawer where Anna had the picture of Dex and Addie and Talia and her wife. She asks Nicolette if she's looking for something in the drawer. And she's like, nope. She says she doesn't know Sonia despite knowing her last name. And she says that, you know, just she looked at her that way because she looks like an old friend. Anna asks if her old friend's name was Adeline, and she says no. Hamish and Siobhan are having dinner, and he wants to know why Siobhan gave him the script for the Artur, told him to tell everyone that he wrote it, and to cast Anna as the lead. Now, despite everyone telling him that the film would tank, especially if Anna was involved in it, he still did it, and it became exceedingly successful. He wants to know what's going on and who Siobhan really is. Now this scene is left unresolved and we do not get any more in the rest of the episode. Anna meets Cora for physical therapy and I love Taffy Jevonson. Oh my gosh guys, she was fantastic as Feather in Scream Queens. She's done so many other projects, but I'm so glad to see her back in the, you know, Ryan Murphy AHS universe somewhat because, I mean, she's a great actress. Okay, I should tell you guys really quickly, this just warning, this is an SA. She gets Anna to like take off her pants and get on the massage table. Wow, that's just a line I wouldn't have crossed, but okay. And she goes inside Anna literally and Anna is so uncomfortable she tells Cora three times to stop Cora does not okay so finally Anna's like look get the fuck out of me this poor character was essayed and she tells her husband her husband what happened and he fucking laughs at her fucking laughs at her I was so triggered by that to laugh about it is cruel he tries to explain Cora's a professional she knows what she's doing just because she's a fucking professional does not mean that she can't essay another woman, okay? Or a man. Anna does stand up for herself and she's like, why don't you just ever believe me? And get this, Dex thinks that Anna is upset because she can't go to the Golden Globes. I'm so upset that I can't even say Golden Globes right. Anna laughs at this stupid reason and he gets angry. I mean, the difference between this, this couple is astronomical. They both react completely different and they should, in my opinion, they should not be together. Anna accuses Dex of marrying her to get over Addie. And she also says that he just, she wants him to admit that he thinks she's crazy and making up everything from the stalker to the nurse and everything. And he says, yes, he says, I love you, but uh, she should have dumped him. That pissed me off so badly. Anna tells Dex that she basically needs him to believe her. And he says he can't do that. He knows if he will just believe his wife, his relationship will get better. Everything will get better if he just takes a chance and believes her. But he says he can't do that. So Dex is actively taking a chance and not helping his marriage. Yeah, he's absolutely having an affair with Cora. Now Dex wants to leave the conversation and go watch the Golden Globes. Of course he does. Anna goes to the basement to watch the awards alone. I do feel a little sad for her there. Sadly, Babette wins the award for Best Actress and Anna coughs up like screws, I guess, and like a little long finger. Siobhan calls Anna right at that time and asks her if she wants an Oscar more than a baby. And Anna says yes. Siobhan asks Anna if she'll be willing to do anything to get it. Anna says yes. Someone with a red glove takes Anna and she pulls her out of the camera sight. And then the next thing we know, Anna wakes up in bed. Dex is by her side waking her up and he shows her a news article of Babette dying in a car crash. Guys, I didn't think that would happen so quickly. In that case, die Dex, die! The episode ends with Siobhan calling Anna. So this episode was a little bit better than the previous, just a little. We didn't get answers, tiny bits of detail. I mean, this was supposed to be the series finale for the year. I mean, we're still getting a couple of other episodes, but I expected this to at least give us a little bit more information and all it seemed to do was give us more red herrings and questions more than it did answers. I am going to give this episode a six because I enjoyed going back to look and see if Sonia was the same person in uh, the re in the same shoes as in the art gallery as in the stall in a previous episode and that led me to a theory 
So I did enjoy watching this episode. However, I was frustrated because we didn't get important endings to certain things, such as the conversation last episode with Siobhan and Hamish. We didn't get an ending to the conversation between Virginia and Miss Preach. I, I mean, I'm sure that the show is doing that for intentional purposes, but we're getting so much red herrings and information right now that it almost feels like overload of unnecessary information instead of an overload on necessary information. I'm really enjoying Anna's character. I'm enjoying Emma Roberts portraying her. I'm enjoying the rest of the characters. I'm enjoying the twists and the red herrings. I'm not enjoying the apocalypse uh, references. I'm not enjoying the fact that the show is just not progressing. We just keep getting the same stuff as we did almost in a previous episode. So the show won't. It's almost like the show is refusing to go forward. I can't wait to go back and rewatch these episodes again uh, because I've only seen them all once. And now finally, now that number five is done, I can actually go back and just rewatch one through five straight without having to kind of go back and write notes or anything. I could just actually watch it and see how I feel about it now. As of now, I'm kerfuffled, frustrated. I think there's only like two episodes, two or three episodes left. They've got to wrap this up. I don't want them to just leave it to like the final episode, which it kind of feels like maybe that's what they're going to do. And I'm hoping that they're not. So those are my thoughts on this season so far. I really like it. I just want them to go forward a little more. Look out for my theory videos that are absolutely coming up. Look out for the reviews and more information that is coming for AHS. If you guys like the video and the channel, please subscribe and like if you want to. It's your choice. Do you, honey? And thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you all are having a wonderful holiday. I love you all and beware of our girl, Sexy Scaffish. Beware of Sexy Scaffish.